All right, Miles, let's go down to Tallahassee, Florida. Let's talk some Florida State football. Look, this is a program that after kind of a slow start, there were some concerns under Norvell here. It looks like they're making all the right moves and they're trending in the right direction, especially this offseason. They're bringing in a lot, a lot of big-time talent to compete in the ACC. And I know you've got a story of another guy they're bringing in, Miles, that will have a massive impact for the Seminoles going forward. But before I hand over to you, Florida State fans, we want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Look, there's been a lot of new additions to this program. Norvell and his staff has done an absolutely outstanding job bringing a lot of guys in, whether it's transfers or recruits. Let us know in the comment section below what guy you think will have the biggest impact on this Florida State program going forward. We're looking to hear for you. And while you're down there in the comment section, make sure you hit subscribe. It really helps us grow the channel. And that way, all the Florida State content we publish, and we publish a lot of it, gets sent right to you. So make sure you hit subscribe while you're commenting down below. But all right, Miles, give us the latest out of Tallahassee. Yeah, Nick, you asked who will be the biggest addition, the biggest impact to that team, and it just may be T.J. Abrams or Tawaski Abrams. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But this guy, Nick, is a big-time recruit coming to Florida State, a four-star wide receiver uh, coming out of high school. He's one of the better prospects in Florida, one of the better prospects in the country in the top 50. Uh, and, you know, I, I think that he really, really is a going to be a difference maker for this team. Uh, he's kind of a burner. He played track. He returned kicks in the high school, uh, did a lot of things all around. And he seems like, you know, just a really, really solid player coming into Florida State, Nick. And I think this just goes we did. We've done stories all throughout this off season and in season, just talking about Florida State getting transfers, uh, the new the coaching staff doing all of these things. Florida State's kind of back on the map, Nick, and they're landing these big time like four or five star recruits, and it, it is really starting to paint me. Keep my eye on Florida State. Like, is the ACC is there going to be a power struggle this coming year? Clemson's kind of been at the top for a long time now, but can a team like Florida State come in? and kind of shake stuff up. And if you keep act, adding playmakers like uh, Abrams here, I think they really have a shot to be, you know, big time players in the ACC this coming season. I agree hundred percent. And you look at a move like this, it really addresses two needs because Florida state at wide receiver. I think they're lacking in depth. They got some big play guys. They have a couple guys that are really explosive. They really don't have a true number one or frankly, number two guy. In my opinion, that uh, a Wilson, Johnny Wilson led their team in catches last year with 43 second on their team was 32, right? They were kind of a by committee approach. It didn't have anywhere close to what they want from a number one or two receiver in terms of production. And that's why they're looking out to get it, whether in recruiting or the transfer portal and doing one heck of a job, bringing those guys in. But you alluded to a great point, Mize, is the fact that it looks like Florida State, at least when it comes to recruiting and bringing in the talent, they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Clemson. Right. And a team like Florida State historically has had the ability to bring in the guys. You go back to Jimbo Fisher, you go back even beyond that to Bobby Bowden. They've recruited with the best of them. Everyone knows Florida is just a hotbed of football talent. Everyone knows the entire Southeast is. And Florida State historically has done a great job bringing in those guys. They've had a lull of a few years, but it looks like Norvell is going back to that old tradition, bringing in top elite talent, four and five star guys almost exclusively fast guys, explosive guys, big playmakers. And I'm really interested to see how that matches up against Clemson because Clemson in the last few years, they've gone away from more of the speed game. Clemson's become a more power team, run the football, more big guys up front. Florida State's almost countering a little bit with a little bit more speed and explosive. So you're going to get kind of a yin and yang there. And I think we're seeing right now the two top teams, how I think it's going to shake out for the next few years in the ACC, Clemson and Florida State. And I think it's going to be really just massive battles down the stretch. And it looks like Norvell after some early concerns, right? There was a little concern in the early going about Norvell looks to be doing everything the right way for Florida state program. And, and I think if I'm a Seminole fan right now, I couldn't be more excited with this news. Yeah, Nick. And we're already looking. So this guy is committed for the, he's in the 2024 class. But if you look at Florida state's 2024 recruiting class so far, uh, they're number three overall this early on, yeah. you know, and it, it's, to get ahead of the game, you got to get guys to commit early. And there's a lot of talent. Lot of talent. Yeah, a lot of talent. So, you know, bringing in guys like Abram, uh, Camden Fryer, another guy, a lot of deep Florida talent, a lot of Georgia, Florida type guys coming in here. But, you know, I, I really like, you know, not only are they bringing in tons of transfers, tons of big time recruits this year, but we're already looking to see how Norvell has prepped for next year and being ranked number three in the rankings this early on. I think that's big time. And that is how you stack players. That is how you build a program 
And that is how you go and compete in the ACC, like we said, uh, for a few years to come here.